I'm so sorry, all of you all. My current went off. Okay, ma'am. Still, there are a few more people. Okay, anyways. Okay, so what I was telling is there's another third technique which is known as threshing. Okay, so this thing over here is how a wheat, a single stalk of wheat looks like. So things that is surrounding the wheat stalk is called the wheat seed from which you get the wheat. Okay, you grind the wheat seed and you get the wheat flour. Okay, and this stem portion is called as the stalk. All right. So if you, for example, you just want a mango from a tree, you're gonna pluck it. If you want a flower, you're gonna pluck it. But can you pluck each seed from hundreds of wheat stalks that you have? So what will the farmers do? How will they separate it? Deepika, do you know? Deepika isn't there, right? Uh, Ashwit, can you tell me how will the farmers do it? Mom, bye. Machines. Okay, machines. Okay. Ashwarya, do you know how they do it? No, ma'am. Adrit? Ma'am, by looking and plucking them. No, they'll pluck each one of it. It's going to take ages. How will they finish plucking it? Because there's going to be hundreds of uh, wheat stalks like these. Okay, it's not just a single one. There's going to be so many. You won't be able to do that, okay? So this is done by threshing. They'll start taking the bundle and they'll beat it on the ground. So when you beat it on the ground with force, all these seeds come out separately and the stalk will be separate. All right? So this is done with the help of bullocks and machines. I'll, before that, I'll just show you an image of uh, how threshing looks like. Just download this video and image. So I think you can see over here, all the farmers are beating it to the ground. So you can see all the seeds are coming out separately. Okay, so you all, you can see it clearly over here. Yeah. Look at the image carefully. You can see the separated stalk is over here. All the stalks are over here, the separated ones. And all the grains are over here. And this is what they're beating on. All right, so this is done using bullocks or it's done using machines. And I hope winnowing also was very clear to all of you all. A better understanding where the image. Okay, so this is threshing and minnowing for all of us. Did threshing, uh, did you understand or you want me to explain it again? Did you understand class threshing? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, so the fourth technique. is saving okay now uh, your mom is buying maida okay and there's a lot of uh, stones in maida what will your mom do how will she separate it how will she separate it how will she separate it any of your other I don't know. Don't know. Okay. And do you have you guys heard this term called chani that you have at home? That's sieve, ma'am. Yeah, it's a sieve. Okay. So your mom normally calls it a chani or a sieve. Yes, ma'am. Okay? Chani. Yeah. So what you do with that is you're gonna add these the all the flour and you're going to shake the chani or the sieve. It looks something like this. Okay, Miss. 
the filter is full of holes. Yeah. Okay. So Small all the, so all the filtered flour is going to just come here. So this is known as a sieve. All right, or a mesh. Okay, so this is how you separate it. So another method of separating is through sieving, using a sieve, okay? So what happens since there are tiny holes, these flour particles, you know, the size is smaller than that of the holes. So they easily pass through it. Whereas all the hard substances, they won't be, that is the larger substances or the rocks that will not be allowed or not be able to enter these holes will be stuck on top of the filter. All right, so this is today's class for all of y'all. Tomorrow we'll be seeing another concept of sedimentation and how filtration is done. Okay, so now for example, you're gonna uh, drink uh, bone vita, okay? Your mom is putting two spoons of bone vita, she's giving you milk. After you finish the milk, there'll be something in your glass in the end. What is it? And the powder. The powder will be there, right? So why is it not complete mixing with the milk? There'll be a little of powder left, right? In the liquid form, it'll be there in your milk. So this is basically all the uh, particles of the bone vita that is not able to dissolve in the milk is being settled down in the bottom, okay? This settling down things in the bottom is known as sedimentation, okay? That is what we'll be uh, learning in tomorrow's class, okay? So you can note down sieving. Did you all understand today's class? Ashwarya, was the class clear? Did you have any doubt? Yes, it was clear. Okay, so this is how the classes will be occurring, okay? And the rest of the class, any doubts? Okay, I hope it was clear. So if there's any doubt, just tell me. Please note it down. Ma'am. Yeah, tell me. Keep pressing. 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 Ma'am, you uh, actually... Uh, didn't explain. Yeah, I'll explain. I'll ex Don't worry. I'll explain threshing and um, a saving again. Okay. I'll tell, uh, review the recording once. Yeah, you review the recording once, but I'll also tell you. Okay. So basically, uh, how the rest of the class can note it down. Okay. So how threshing is done is, you can see over here, I've clearly drawn. This is how each wheat stalk looks like from the paddy field. So these farmers, they collect these bundles of stock. You can see these bundles of stock, right? They collect these and there is each one has these seeds. So these wheat seeds are grinded to get the wheat flour. Okay. So how will you like separate these wheat seeds from the stock is what threshing is all about. Okay. So what do you do is you can see in the image clearly, the farmers, they take these bundles of stock and they start beating it on the floor. So when they're beating it, all these seeds come out separately and the stalk is what will be there in your hand. Okay, so this is known as threshing. Okay, and this is done with the help of bullocks and machines. All right, and the next technique is nothing but sieving. Sieving is nothing but the chani your mom uses at home. You know, your mom uses the chani. She separates the flour from all the seeds and dust particles, right? Basically filtering. Filtering is only sieving. Okay, you're going to filter all the uh, solid particles like rocks or dust and you're going to filter it from the flour which has more, you know, it is more smaller in size and can be easily filtered. That is sieving. Okay. Did you understand? Ma'am, can you show sieving with that? Ma'am, this is Adrit. I'm done. Okay, Adrit. Mom, can you just once show me the thres uh, threshing? Yeah. This is threshing. Mom, I am sure that I have done. And also, Ashwarya, it's not necessary. You need to draw whatever I'm drawing, okay? So if you want to draw, it's fine. It's up to you. If it's easy for you to understand. 
but i'm just making it clear it's not necessary for you to draw you can just make note of whatever i'm teaching you so that it will be easy for you to review before the test okay okay So today's homework will be, I want you all to explain in your own words. Ma'am, and the other thing, I won't be able to uh, um, do all the classes because I'm in my, uh, like in my hometown right now. Okay, all right, all right. But just um, try to be updated with the lessons, all right? Yes, ma'am. And your second homework is? Please do your homework questions. Please note that also down. Those who have already completed. Mama, I am Okay. And this is a three time done. <laughs> yeah, right. You can show me saving once. It's nothing but using a filter, it's just a normal filter. Done, ma'am. I'm deep in that. Okay. What about the rest? Is everybody are done? Adrit, Ashwat, Vika. Ma'am, I'm done. Ashwat. Okay, Ashwarya. Is all of it all done? Yeah. Advika, are you done? I'm not answering. Okay, anyways. Uh, any any other doubts you all have? Was today's class clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so your next test, which is be on Sunday, will be based on whatever I taught you all today because this is the majority of the portions that I'll be covering. So please go through the notes. And I've also updated the notes for sorting of materials into groups. So you all can go through that notes. There's not nothing, you know, there's nothing much over there. Okay. So just uh, if you're having your textbook, please go through that also. And if there's any doubt, you can just text me on WhatsApp. All right. So we'll see you day after tomorrow. Okay. Bye, class.
Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye ma'am. Bye, all of you all. Bye, bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.